Scenario 13 Entertainment and Hobbies Real Scene 3 Camping It is a movement because it moves forward. As soon as it stops moving, it becomes an organization and is no longer scouting. Robert Baden My goals Once I have completed scenario 13, I will be able to correctly use past and present participles as adjectives and I will know how to connect relative clauses using who, that, or which. I will also learn about camping, a popular recreational activity that can be enjoyed by people of all skill levels. Introductory Questions Number 1. Do you go camping on a regular basis? Number 2. What are the types of camping? Number 3. Where can people go camping near your city? Introduction. Camping is an outdoor recreational activity that involves spending one or more nights in a tent, a primitive structure, a travel trailer, or a recreational vehicle at a campsite with the purpose of getting away from civilization and enjoying nature. Camping includes survivalist campers who set off with little more than their boots, to those who arrive in large recreational vehicles equipped with their own electricity, heat, and patio furniture. A modern campsite. Camping as a recreational activity did not become popular until the early 20th century. It continues to be a response in the increasing urbanization and isolation of Western society. Camping is often associated with a sense of nostalgia or of romanticism for the times of our fathers. It simultaneously evokes images of oneness with nature and man against nature, connection and communion with the natural environment, but also independence and self-sufficiency. Camping may be referred to colloquially as roughing it. Camping can be an end until itself often it is done in conjunction with other activities such as hiking swimming or fishing it may involve hiking or backpacking to a distant location or it may involve a series of day hikes from the central location national parks and other publicly owned natural areas of interest are popular venues for camping Camping is often restricted to designated sites by law in order to prevent campers from damaging the environment. Types of Camping Campsites are designed according to the degree of comfort desired by the camper. Most campers prefer sites with special facilities such as fire rings, bathrooms, and utilities, but not all campsites offer similar levels of development. Campsites can range from a bare piece of grass to a level paved pad with sewer and electricity. These latter sites are often designated for the use of handicapped campers. Tent camping commonly employs an automobile to transport equipment to an established campground, although sometimes a pack animal, touring bicycle, boat, or bush plane may be used. Some people camp with tents because they feel that camping with a trailer, caravan, or motorhome detracts from the experience of being out of doors. Because camping gear is relatively inexpensive and rugged, and can be used for years, tent camping is popular with young families. Children tend to enjoy camping. Tent camping sites are often less expensive than campsites with full amenities. Most of them allow direct access by car. Some walk-in sites can be reached by a brief walk and do not require full backpacking equipment. Recreational vehicles are like wheeled houses. Some are quite luxurious, featuring air conditioning, bathrooms, kitchens, showers, satellite TV, and even internet connections. 
RV campers often consider tent camping uncomfortable and inconvenient. In the United States, many campgrounds offer hookups, where motorhomes are supplied with electricity, water, and sewer services. Some retirees in the U.S. sell their homes and lead a nomadic lifestyle in their RVs, often moving with the seasons. Backpacking is a style of tent camping. Backpackers use lightweight equipment that can be carried long distances on foot. They hike across the land, camping in remote spots, often selecting campsites at will if resource protection rules allow. Backpacking equipment costs more than car camping equipment, but much less than a trailer or motorhome. Canoe camping is similar to backpacking, but uses canoes for transportation. This style of camping is popular in eastern North America. Survivalist campers learn specialized skills to survive out of doors in any situation. This challenging activity may require obtaining food from the wild, emergency medical treatments, orienteering, and pioneering. There are also many people who choose to vacation in established camps with cabins and other facilities. Many children are sent to camp for periods during the summer. Some camps have the traditional woodsy orientation, some are operated by religious institutions, and some children's camps are educational. Hunting camps are common in some regions, among both subsistence cultures and developed ones. Work camping allows campers to trade their labor for a free campsite and sometimes for utilities and additional pay. The term camping may also be applied to those who live outdoors out of necessity or for people waiting overnight in very long lines. It does not, however, apply to primitive societies whose technology does not include sophisticated dwellings. Grammar Structure 1 Using past and present participles as adjectives. Participles come in two varieties, past and present. They are two of the five forms or principal parts that every verb has. A participle is a verb form that can be used as an adjective to describe a noun. For example, an interesting book, an interested student. When the noun being described is or was a performer of the activity, we use the present participle. The participle ends in ing. For example, the crying baby drew a long breath and sucked in a spider crouching in the corner of the crib. When the noun being described is or was being acted upon, we use the past participle. The participle ends in ed or en. For example, the mangled pair of sunglasses, bruised face, broken arm and bleeding knees meant Jean had taken another spill on her mountain bike. Writing Exercise 1. Complete these sentences with the adjectives applied. A. I find nature films fascinate. B. Camping is a very activity. Interest. C. I'm not wild animals. Interest. D. I think preserving nature is an activity. Excite. E. I'm by conversation books. Fascinate. F. I thought Jurassic Park was a movie. Bore. Camping equipment. Common tent camping equipment includes a tent, lean-to, or other shelter, a sleeping bag, a sleeping pad or mattress to provide cushioning from stones and uneven ground as well as insulation, a portable stove for cooking, a lantern or flashlight, a hatchet, axe, or saw, Matches or a lighter to start a fire. Some campers prepare food by cooking on a campfire or on a portable gas-fueled stove in areas where campfires are prohibited 
or when the weather makes a campfire impossible. Much of the remaining needed camping equipment is commonly available in the home, like dishes, pots, and pans. Lists of recommended supplies are available in camping books. Many people opt not to use their home items, but to take equipment better tailored to camping, such as heavy plastic tableware and salt and pepper shakers with tops that close to keep out rain. Backpackers use special lightweight, highly portable equipment. Grammar Structure 2 Using Relative Clauses We use relative clauses to provide extra information. This information can define something or provide unnecessary but interesting added information. We use the word who to connect relative clauses when we are talking about people. For example, the movie Forrest Gump is about a man who is very lucky. We use the word that to connect relative clauses when we are talking about things. Use which when the information being added is essential to the meaning of the sentence. For example, I do not trust products that claim all natural ingredients because this phrase can mean almost anything. The word which is also used to connect relative clauses when we are talking about things. However, which is used when the information being added is not essential to the sentence. The information could be omitted and the subject would not suffer. For example, Diamonds, which are expensive, often elect forgiveness. Writing Exercise 2. Rewrite B answers using relative clauses. A. Have you heard of Saturday Night Fever? B. Yes, it's a musical. It has some great songs. A. What's the movie Forrest Gump about? B. It's about an American. He tells his life during the last four decades of the last century. A. Did you enjoy reading Truman Capote's latest novel? B. Yes, it was a great book. It's terrific. A. Who is George Lucas? B. He's a movie director. He's made some fantastic movies such as Star Wars. The Boy Scouts The Boy Scouts organization was founded in 1908 in the wake of the publication of the book Scouting for Boys by Lt. Gen. Robert Baden Powell. A Boy Scout, originally referred to a male between the ages of 12 and 17 who participated in the Boy Scouts program, but soon expanded to involve younger children aged 8 to 11 called Cub Scouts and young adults aged 18 to 25 called Rovers. At the first National Scout Gathering held in the United Kingdom, Baden-Powell discovered a great deal of interest in the program by girls, and so he and his sister formed a parallel organization for girls called the Girl Guides. Presently, each scouting organization belonging to the World Scouting Organization decides independently whether its group will be for boys only or will be co-educational. The World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts is the parallel scouting organization for girls and women in scouting. The movement began when Baden-Powell returned to England as a national hero, after defending the town of Mafeking for seven months during Boer War in South Africa. When he returned to England, he discovered that many boys and young men were avidly reading his book, Aids to Scouting. This book was intended as a military training manual to teach soldiers techniques such as observation, tracking and initiative. Baden met with various influential people in youth movements across the country and was persuaded to write a version of Aids to Scouting aimed at teenage boys. 
Scouting for Boys was published in 1908 after Baden Powell tried out his ideas on various groups of boys at a camp on Brown Sea Island in Dorset, England. Scouting for Boys was initially printed in six fortnightly parts and sold very quickly. Baden Powell had originally intended Scouting for Boys to supplement the already existing youth programmes like the Boys Brigade and the Boys Clubs. But boys who were not involved in these groups bought the book, set themselves up as patrols of scouts and quickly found leaders to train them. It didn't take long for Baden Powell to realise some form of organisation was required to support these groups. Scouting for Boys is now in fourth place on the all-time bestsellers list, behind the Bible, the Quran, and Mao Si Tung's Little Red Book. Research Spot Look for more information about 1. Best places in the world to go camping 2. Camping gear 3. 